Hey, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection, Technology Game Times 2 and 3. I've been trying to get my hands on this projector. It is finally here. Thank you so much, the merchant did a fantastic job. I would say finally, he did a good job shipping it out. Um, I got this off eBay. I'm going to show you the projector right here. So this is my ViewSonic uh, 3300 Lumens Short Throw Projector. Um, this projector is WXGA, it has widescreen, and it has a 235.1 format, which I needed to complete my project on my 235.1 screen. So this projector, sorry, the screen is actually 57 inches high at 133 inches wide, just waiting now for the surface to get here. Now this is going to be part of a kit, I've been getting questions and uh, people have been uh, asking me if I was going to bring out a 235.1, uh, customize a blackout cloth for people who want those wide panorama screens, and yes, it is coming. So I have a blackout cloth. The biggest it's going to be is 61. It'll be, it'll be able to do 120 inch, but it's 62 inches high, and it's going to be 15 feet, 15 to maybe 20 feet wide. So this is going to be a very large blackout uh, cloth, and it's going to come with a one quart or two quart of the screen paint, and also too, like I said, gives you the ability to have 235.1. Keep in mind, your projector has to have that capability, or it just won't work. All right, so let me show you real quick. We'll go to a menu. We'll go back a bit. Let me show you on the, the reason why I lean toward ViewSonic projectors because they have the 235.1 aspect ratio on their projectors which you don't find on most well, actually you can find them on some projectors but they're very costly um, I've done videos back where I was using a wide angle camera lens and the problem with the wide angle camera lens it does work but since it's not designed for a projector the edges on the uh, screen come out a little bit fuzzy so it's not a, it's it's a quick fix but like I said um, to have a true 235.1 ViewSonic has them. The only thing about it, ViewSonic never advertises about having this option on their projectors. I mean, I found out by accident. I brought one of the short throws, I got it home, and went through the um, aspect ratio selection, and it popped up, and I was like, wow, you've got to be kidding me. Like, this is really cool, the fact that you don't have to spend $1,500 or $1,300 for a lens, or some kind of adapter, or just fit it with software, or whatever. The projector has it right in there. And then I went and bought a few of the ViewSonic projectors. I wanted to see how many of these projectors had that capability. And I found projectors as low as $300, $300 uh, $249. I'll put that post at the bottom of me having this projector. $249 um, at the most, the lowest, and get it used or refurbished. And it was still doing 235.1. So the screen paint I'm using uh, for this particular screen is a new gaming paint. As you can see, I got this large sheet covered uh, with the gaming paint. This is actually the bed sheet I did in gaming paint. And as you can see, this is the white wall. This is what I don't like about white walls. And this is using a short throw, a short throw 3300 lumen view sonic projector. Let me get real close on it. And I got this off of eBay from a fantastic merchant for around $202 that includes shipping and everything I need to get the ball rolling. $202. Now usually these projectors, if you get them on Amazon or some other place, they can come in at an easy four or five hundred dollars, even seven hundred dollars for a short throw projector. Um, but keep in mind, God being good and amazing, I got the projector for two hundred and two dollars. Now soon I shall have my the other. Okay, I'll still get back a minute. The other projector that I ordered, the knockoff projector, one has a huge massive lens in the front. Um, that projector has to be bought again uh, due to the fact that I ordered it. I showed basically the demonstration of me ordering the projector. Um, PayPal went in and basically put a hold on it and the reason why is because for some reason with that particular merchant his PayPal account was not verified so we pulled it we basically canceled the order so I'll reorder again at a later time if I find myself a good merchant that's going to be legit and we'll order it again but until then I have that 4000 lumen 1080p projector coming in very soon and like I said this is just showing off the new ViewSonic uh, projector it only cost me $202. Won it on a bid. And the packaging, everything came fantastic. Fast time, per packaging was nice. Uh, projector has no blemishes, no scrape marks, no cracks, nothing on it. Works perfectly fine. And like I said, I had the option now, the 235.1, which I needed really bad. I think the next two projectors I'm going to be purchasing is the Infocus 
and a BenQ, and maybe I'm gonna get my hands on an Optima also. But that looks fantastic on that gamer paint. Like I said, white wall with 3200 lumens. Now keep in mind, I was doing demonstrations using a uh, 3700 lumens, or two 3700 lumens top and bottom. That's a 42. Um, down here on the floor somewhere, I got over here, I have 2600 lumens right there, 2200 lumens short, off your short throw. And now over here, I have a ViewSonic 3200 lumen projector at WXGA. And this just shows you, even with a short throw projector, and the 3200 lumens, this is what you're getting from a white wall. This is what our technology does. I can't wait for the blackout puff to get here because I'm going to coat this whole thing. It's going to look amazing. All right, again, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Our sales are still going on our website. I got to get some rest. I'm really tired, but I'm since 4 o'clock in the morning. I got orders I'm still pushing out to this day. And I got to get a little rest. Thank you all for your time. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'll put the model number of the projector at the bottom so you can check it out for yourself. Thank you all for your time and God bless. I'll let it play a little bit. Just gonna have some fun with it. Let it play a little bit. That's the angle gain. 3200 lumens in a fully lit environment versus a white wall. And keep in mind, this is a bed sheet I'm using as a blackout cloth. All right, gotta go.